this is an Amtrak, but we are about to ride the um, Miami Metro, or the Miami Metro Rail. the train only to discover we have gotten off at the wrong stop now I'll be honest I should have followed the advice of cruisers who were in the group that we were a part of on Facebook however I asked the locals and let's be honest how often do locals need to get to Port of Miami At this point, we were like, it's getting close to the time that we need to check in. Let's just go ahead and get an Uber. We were at the government center and we had to figure out how, number one, how to get outside and two, how to let our Uber know where we were. Well, let me tell you how the Lord was working in our favor. A black suburban came to pick us up in the correct spot on the right side of the road y'all picked us up we were at a stoplight we had enough time to hop in put our luggage in and we were good to go and off to our vacation here the driver is explaining how because of all the construction the port of Miami is extremely busy busier than normal this is something that we constantly heard from Lyft drivers from Uber drivers and also from the locals are they happy about it not so much yeah we got to our port Please make sure you bring cash to tip your porters because guess who did not? We will go into the main room where you will check in with your passport or ID and birth certificate. Don't be alarmed. It does look a bit chaotic, but I promise you they will get you in and out extremely quickly. And as soon as you pass them, it is up the escalator or elevator and on to your cruise vacation. Vacation, vacation baby. And just like that, you're on the ship, literally. 
there was no can we have your last name let's introduce your family or anything like that and maybe that's just how Royal Caribbean does it we would have loved a little bit of a welcome onto the ship the C8 going over for Royal Caribbean, do yourself a favor, do your safety briefing on the app, and go directly to your master station as soon as you get on the ship.